equation represents the graph shown given that is a shift of the function y equals x squared. Okay, so how did I know that number one was the right choice? Well, first of all, the first thing that we looked at yesterday was it shifted to the right. If it shifted to the right, remember that word counterintuitive? It's opposite of what you think because this is a negative. So in our heads, negatives are usually left. Yeah. But it's actually shifted to See, the right. For me, like for that one, I got it wrong. I got number two. But on the other page, like I remembered that. And so I did it that way, but I forgot for the justice. Gotcha. One. And then because it's dropped down four below that x axis, that's minus four. Those two would have been above the x axis, and that one would have been shifted to the left instead. Did we do okay? Okay, yeah, let, let me switch. Good job. Let me switch. Good job, Matthew. Good job, Matthew. <laughs> okay, on the back side. So, 4A opens up, and the turning point is 2, 7. Remember, in case we have people who didn't watch the lesson yesterday, remember that the X value is the opposite of what's in here. So, if this is negative 2, the turning point's value is 2. The number on the outside, however, is exactly the same. That's a negative number, so it opens down. Turning point is negative 6, 4. Letter C opens down. Turning point is negative 4, negative 3. Letter D opens up. Turning point is negative 1, negative 7. Letter E opens down. Don't be caught by that. That's your leading coefficient. The order is reversed there. So it opens down and your vertex is 0, 9. That doesn't, it's not shifted to one of the two sides. It's missing the middle term there. And then the final one opens down and the vertex is 5, 11. Um, let's look at 5. I said try it. Let's look at it quickly and see how it goes. That was pretty straightforward. Did we do okay up here? Yeah. That was the main goal. As long as we were good at that, that, that makes me happy. Okay, now I'm traveling under an acceleration due to gravity alone. We'll have it height 18 meters above the ground. Two seconds after it was fired is given by this ridiculous equation. At what height does the object begin at t is zero? So what I did was I took zero and I plugged it in and I solved it. Could I probably have gotten that for my table of values too? If I had put this whole thing into my into my calculator? You, and yeah. did you get the same answer? Yeah. 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 So good. Either way, either way works. What is the peak height this object reaches in meters? So basically they were asking you the turning point, which I can get right from here. Turning point, opposite. So it's six, height, 210. What does it mean? It means that in six seconds, it reaches a height of 210 meters. Although you should be able to answer part B without your calculator, provide evidence in table form that supports your answer. So there's my answers. And then a quick sketch. Label your answers from A and B. How'd we do? It wasn't awful, was okay. it? No. I didn't think so. It was easy. It was easy enough. I told you you didn't have to worry about parts um, or question six. Yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about that one. All right. So let's go on to today's lesson, completing the square. What we're essentially going to learn today, and there is no IA, there is no homework associated with this because we're going to do it again on Thursday. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the home, the actual homework on Thursday. So tune in for a little bit to the video or live, but know that we're doing more of this because I need you good at this process. Okay. So there's no classwork on Thursday, just do the homework. On Correct. Thursday. What about Wednesday? Is there anything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. 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 Rate of change. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, completing the square. The turning point of a parabola and its general shape are relatively easy to determine if the quadratic function is written in its shifted or vertex form. Review this in the first exercise. Okay, so this is what we did yesterday. What are the coordinates of the turning point? Three, two. Three, two. Is everybody all right with that? Yeah. Yes. Take the opposite of what's in here, and then it's that actual number. Okay. 
determine the range by drawing a rough sketch. Okay, so rough sketch. Does it open up or does it open down? It opens up. It opens up. How did we know that? Yeah, because this yes. is a positive. Okay, so it opens up and its vertex is at one, two, three, one, two. So it looks something like this. Range is what letter? Y. Y's, good. So what is my Y doing? Where is it starting? What's my Y, what's my Y number right here? Two. Two. And what does it do from there? Goes up. So you can tell me this. Or what else can you tell me? Equal. I got the equal already. Okay. Oh, Comma, zero. Say it again. Parentheses, zero. Grabby thingy, zero. <laughs> Not zero. And then. Not grab, zero. Infinity. Oops. Two. 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 Grabby thingy, two. That's the technical term for that. Clause, exactly. Clause two, it includes two. I like and grabby then, thingy better. And then infinity and the slippy thingy. Wow, you guys, the technicality with which we were discussing things this morning is just blowing me out of the water. The slippy thingy and the slippy thingy. The grabby thingy and the slippy thingy. The question then. It's, it's certainly clauses. not a bracket or a parenthesis. <laughs> no. The question then is how we take a quadratic of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and put it into shifted form. So we don't know how to make it look like this yet. That's the goal of today and Thursday. Okay. This procedure is known as completing the square, but it needs some additional review. Right, each of the following is an equivalent trinomial. Okay, so basically they want us to FOIL it. We're going to do one of them. You want to do A, B, or C? C. B. Actually, I'm going to take that choice away. We're doing B. Tell me why. Because it's a negative. Because I worry about you guys and your negatives. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this. This is telling me you need two of these, correct? Oopsies. Two of these, correct? Yeah. Everybody on board with that? Yeah. Okay, how do I do this now? I foil it. Okay, there we go. X times X. X squared. X squared. X times negative one. Negative one X. Negative one times X. Negative one X. Negative one times negative one. Positive one. Watch that. That's where I keep catching you guys. Okay, be very careful there. All right, combine your like terms. What do I got? X squared minus 2x plus 1. Perfect. Okay. We're recording a song for band today. You are? Oh, sweet. I'll that. hear it. I, I hear it because I'm above the auditorium, so I always get to hear your, What's it called? your fun song. Island, Island Paradise. Can I get rid of this? Wait, we're Let me get that. Yeah, we're above the auditorium, so every time you guys are playing in the auditorium, I get serenaded. Wow. So I get to Wait, love serenaded. Yeah. What's your fourth grade class? Correct. Oh, great. It is my fourth grade class. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. what's it? And by you'll hear the band, we mean you'll hear me, Leo, Oliver, and Zach. And Mr. Thane. And Mr. Thane playing with them. Mr. Thane That's about it. The That's it. Okay. Given each trinomial and exercise oh, wait, number two of the form x squared plus bx plus c, what is true about the relationship between the value of b and of c? Okay, so let me write it again. We have x squared minus 2x plus 1, correct? Okay, tell me about the value of b versus the value of c. b is bigger. Wait, no. b is bigger. Wait, what? b is bigger. 2 is bigger. Oh, okay. We take the negativeness. Okay. What else? Um, we can draw a picture. I'm not gonna. I don't like the pictures of quadratics. Sorry, they're they're blocks and long skinny things and little. Can I just tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I've wanted the whole time. This. <laughs> this. Oh, it's hard to see because of the the one we picked. 
this actually is half of this squared. True? So if I take negative 2 and I cut it in half, what do I get? Negative 1. one. Then if I square negative 1, what do I get? One. 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 That's the relationship that exists, and you can't see it because of the one that I picked. <laughs> Shame on me. Anyhow. Okay. I told you we should have done A. <laughs> this is still a baby step. I don't like these baby steps. I want to just teach you how to do this. Okay, you guys ready? We have to unfoil these. You ready? Well, I thought we were done with unfoiling. Oh, we're to it. there's a baby step to get us where we got to go. Okay. So X and X, what are my signs in letter A? Plus and plus. plus, and plus. plus. Okay. What do I need? Factors of? That add to give me? 20, what are they? 10 and 10. 10 and 10. 10. That was fast. How did <laughs> because it's easy. Easy for some, not for all. True. Is this a true statement? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Next, letter B. X. X and X. Minus. M minus and. No. Minus and minus. 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 Because when I multiply these, when I FOIL these, Olivia, I need this to be a positive 9. But this one has to be a negative because of that negative times a negative is the only way to get a positive. It's 3 and 3. It's 3 and 3. Three and three. This is so why I failed that test. X minus 3 squared. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's Which right. One? Oh, my God. No, that's right. Right. Okay. No. What about this one? I mean, what I drew. X plus. X plus plus. 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 That was so hard. That's wrong. What? Did you give him extra credit on those last questions? I did, but he earned it. He and a whole bunch of you no, did something else. You bumped the square up and you said you had to give us extra points. Some kids did the extra long time ago. There was an assignment that I said to you if you colored it. It was the pumpkin one. You guys remember oh, that yeah. ridiculous the assignment? Then if if no, you I did it, it, you had to do the coloring part, not the regular assignment. If you attempted the coloring part of it, then I need to do the well, I have a question. And I have that list, list on my desk Mrs. for Rowe, over I currently have like three quarter. zeros in power school on like IAs. Turn and them. I went back to like do them and like turn them in, but they're not in my packet. Like these pages, and it's so, like all three of them. I don't know. You'll have to. I don't so I don't know. We'll have to find time. But it, it was so weird because it looked like it was even the, the day. So we'll have to find the time and try know. and figure it out. That's what I did. You know, I did the pumpkin assignment, and then I looked up to see if I got it right, and the answer came up. And I did. I looked up after I did it. So you could have just got the pumpkin assignment was in October. <laughs> what? I'm not really it's worried about it. Assignment. We've, we've moved on. The only thing that I like is that I finally got to get that stupid post-it note that's on, been on my desk since October off my desk. Can we have more extra credit? We'll see. <laughs> we are finally ready. Oh, thank goodness. We are finally ready to learn the method of completing the square. This method has many uses, but the one we will work with today is to manipulate equations of quadratics from their standard form to their vertex form. Okay. So the quadratic, y equals x squared minus 4x minus 1 is shown graphed. Awesome. Consider only the binomial x squared minus 4x. So we ignore the 1 for right now. Okay. What would you need to add to it to create a perfect square trinomial? Minus 1. No clue. No, not minus 1. That's gonna, not going to make it a perfect square trinomial. So basically, what I'm saying to you is take this number. Mm -hmm. Cut it in half. What's half of negative four? Two. Uh, negative, negative two. two. Okay. Now square it. What's negative two four. squared? Four. So what I would have to make is I would have to make it a positive four. four. Now, I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. Okay? So this is not part of this answer. This is the answer. But I'm showing you why it is. Or I'm proving to you that it makes it a perfect square. Okay, so if I was to unfoil this, I get x and x. Yes? Yes. Signs? Minus, minus. Minus, minus. What do I need? Two and two. Factors of four that add to give me four. That would be two and two. Do you have a perfect square trinomial? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because I can write it 
like that. No, I was proving it to you. You do not have to write it. All you have to have written is there. In order to add zero to the binomial, what should we subtract to offset adding four to make it a perfect square? What? Huh? Huh? What? Um. I don't know. I say we don't do it because you don't understand it either. I don't know what that means. We're going to jump down here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So are you ready? Here's what I, now I'm showing you how to do this. Okay. And then after this, there's practice for us. So here's what you're going to do. First thing you're going to do is you're going to set it equal to zero. Okay. Set it equal to zero. All right. Remember how we set up here, we were ignoring the negative one. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're not really ignoring it. What we're going to do is we're going to move it over here so we don't have to deal with it. Okay. okay. So we're going to, how do I move that negative one over plus here? One. Plus, one. Okay. plus one, plus one. Okay. So then I go X squared minus four X, leave a space equals one. Leave a space because you have to have a C there. What we're doing when we're completing the square, what we're doing is we're finding that new C value. Well, we already found it. We found it up here. We said it's four, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do. Hi, Mr. Pritchard, what's up? I, I just, when you're ready, when you're done with that, I, I got to tell you something. Gotcha. So I'm going to add four here. But can I do something to one side and not do it to the other? No, so you have to add four. No. So I have to add four over here also. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, while I'm talking to Mr. Pritchard quickly, you guys unfoil this side, which I already did for you. But go ahead, honey. How does four get to the other side? Because if I do something to one side of an equation, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side, or that equal sign isn't balanced anymore. You know how if you have 2x minus 5 equals 8, and you do plus 5 over here, you've got to do it here too? Okay. All right, you guys unfoil that real quick. Hold, oh, please. Thank you. So if we're going back four days with this class, I would be scared too. Okay, did you get it? Yeah. What is it? I didn't get X it. X minus two. <laughs> X minus two squared. I did it for you, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I did it up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to just try to find out if I'm going to do four days. No. There's a student who's coming back four days this week. He was just letting me know. Um, what about over here? Five. Yeah, it's five. Oh, what? <laughs> it equals five. Okay. So are you ready? We're almost done. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to scrunch it up like this. We're going to rewrite it. Okay. We're going to bring the five back over. How do I bring the five back over? Subtract it. Okay. So I have x minus two squared. Run out of room. Minus five, I know me too. Now, according to that, what should be the vertex of our parabola? Two, two, minus two, two, five. two negative five. Here's, here's zero. Where's zero? Right here's zero. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Yeah, you could have just looked at the it, it, but, right. you but you won't be able to after this. That was just to prove to you that it's right. After this, they take the graph away, and you have to be able to do it. This procedure is known as what is what is known as an algorithm. In other words, there is a certain set of steps that we follow. Okay, there's a certain recipe that we follow. Half of the value of b, square it, and then add and subtract it to both sides. Okay, let me get rid of this. Let's slide it up and let's do some practice so that we can get you comfortable with it. Yeah, because I, I know you so Who's on the Google Meet? Chris Cross. Uh, Chris, Kenzie, and Mallory. Wait, did you start recording? Yeah, long time ago. <laughs> yes, our class is like 10 more minutes. This, this is the best sentence on the whole thing. There is nothing like practice on the. 
That's the worst sentence. No, that's the best sentence. That means we actually have to. Okay. Write each quadratic in vertex form by completing the square. Then identify. So we got to do a couple things. So space might be an issue. We Hang on. Lesson. Hey, later. No. Space might be an issue because we have to do all that stuff that we did in the last problem. Plus, we have to tell them what the turning point is. And then notice what it says. The last two problems involve fractions. Yes. Why does that make you happy? I don't know. That's why. That hurts me. So you were the only happy one. I'm the only happy one. Listen, in 10 minutes, we might not get to the fraction. Tell now they make you all. Raise your hand. Okay, ready? No, not <laughs> All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change that to zero. So x squared plus 6x minus 2 equals zero. Okay, now we, yeah, you got to write super small. We have to get that 2 out of the way. Okay. We so have to open up the space two. so that we can find a new C. So Zach said plus 2. I was little, I used to be really good. Oh, me too. I wonder why. What I changed? Oh my God. Be nice, be nice. Yes. I'm kidding. He's obviously still in this class, so he can't be bad at Okay. So now, we take Supposedly. what number? What number do I take right now? Six. I take the six. I'm going to come off to the side, and I'm going to do six divided by what? Two. two. Six divided by two is what? Three. Three. And then I'm going to square it. So nine. So this is going to be a plus nine. But because I added nine to this side, I have to add it also to this side. By the way, regardless of if this number is a positive or a negative, once you square it, what happens? Yes. So this is always going to be a plus. All right. Okay. Now. Scrunch, you can add that together. Seven and two, or nine and two is? 11. 11. We're ready to unfoil this. So we have X and X, signs, plus, plus. plus and plus, factors of nine that add to give you six. Three and three. three. Write it together. Bring the 11 back over. I, I skipped a step there a little bit. Try and save you some writing. Thank you. Okay. We can put the y equals back in front of it. And now we have to tell them what their turning point is. What's the turning point? Negative three, negative, three, three, negative 11. Negative three, negative 11. That's a lot of work for me. Yeah, negative three, though. That's a positive. But it's the opposite. Remember, it flips. It's the opposite. Uh. I Matthew has a question about the work. What? No, I don't. They're just trying to give me to tell a story. But I okay, it was more We're not telling the story right now. We're still working. I have a story. B or C? You want to jump to C no. so we give ourselves a little space? Yeah. No. Well, let's no. Do let's do B. Well, let's do B. Okay, let's do B. Here we go. The numbers are smaller. <laughs> so step one. Make it zero. Make it zero. Step two, open up some space for a new C value. So minus 11. Oops. Step three, take the B value, which is negative two, cut it in half, negative one, and then square it. But if I do it to one side, yeah, to I have to do it to the other. Okay. We're going to unfoil the left. Minus, minus. Minus, minus. Minus, minus. minus, minus. One, one. One and one. Notice that I did put, I did combine the right. I put that together already. Smush this together. Oh, should I save us some space again? No, actually, yes. 
So I moved the 10 back over. Put equals y in front of it. And what's your vertex? So one ten. One ten. I don't think I need to come down here and pour over the whole. No. This is a lot of moving up a small amount of space. Uh -huh. I know. I'll be back down here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, tutorial after school. C or should we do C? C unit. Okay, let's do C. That's next week. Oh my God. <laughs> that poor Olivia. What? There's a unit test. There's a unit test next week. Bet bet I don't have to worry about it right I now. Bet I can get the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That. So that, should be, that should be our new competition. Who can get the it's lowest score? It's not even score a competition because all you have to do is put your name on it and not answer anything, and you got a zero. Don't so, uh, your spell your name wrong, get like a negative yeah, point. Who can get the lowest score okay, while focus. trying their best? While yeah. trying their best. Me, I will. It's one of you guys. It's, it's me. You guys. Well, okay. So, no, this lesson, I don't understand any of it. So, good thing we're spending two days on it, huh? Two days. Miss Rowe, come on. I will be the winner of that. Now, well, I don't want to win the here's the here's the other thing. We need to make sure that we're following along all the time, not just when we feel like it. That's I don't know about all that. Okay. I got a fifty something. Same with the negative ten. Sitting on a video. And do what? It's like doing square twice. But unfortunately, that's the only so way that we have right now. Divided by two. Divided I just have the video for. Negative ten divided by two. Negative five squared. Twenty five. So I'm gonna add twenty five here. And I'm gonna add twenty five. Okay, take it. I'm I'm stopping for a minute. You take it. Take it. <laughs> I know I can't I can't believe tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yes, yeah, tomorrow's St. Patrick's yes, Day. I know. I, last what? night last I night my mom yet. My, last night my mom was like, Oh, I can't believe St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow yeah. uh, th Wednesday. And I was like, okay. What? <laughs> No How'd you do? I'm trying to I, me neither. You need How'd to, you do? You need to make it into the. I you need I'm to make the point. Who I need to make the point? What's the point? Five two. Five two. At least you, I don't have to worry about having to wear green. So nobody will pinch me. I got it right. Can you believe it? Look at D. I can believe it. Look at D. D makes your life easy. How come? You don't have to subtract because there is side. no see, there's no. nothing to kick over to the other side, no. so it's That's just equals zero, and then we just go through our process. So I take the nice. eight. eight, eight, I cut it in half, half of eight is four, four squared is Six. Right bigger now. When I was little, um, I remember in first grade, we during St. Patrick's Day. Who was your first grade teacher? I miss Wadhams. We had to uh, really? do leprechaun traps. Yeah. And then at that, um, the next day on St. Patrick's Day, Patrick's Day, she put like a piece of green cloth in the room and made it look like there was a leprechaun. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my God. Okay. Good to know. And then we got candy. So. How'd you do? We did good? Fantastic. Okay. First. How about we stop while we're ahead and not touch the fractions today? Yes. Okay? Yes. Same exact procedure that we are going to use on Thursday. It's just that Thursday you're actually working on the homework. Do we have anything tomorrow? Tomorrow is the packet, is remember? The rate of change. Or the rate of change. Okay. The rate of change. Okay?
and your RRs. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good job, kiddos online. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday.